Okay, guys, let's do a picture here of v equals 2i plus 3j plus 4k. So we'll use the unit vector. So this means 2i's, this means 3j's, and this means 4k's. So here we have a coordinate system. Let's go through that. So we have 2i. We can depict 2i by basically counting off a narrow this way. Look carefully. You see? That's 1i. And then you draw another arrow of the same length along the x axis. So each individual you can call i, like that. Now, that takes care of the 2i part, which is red, so you know what, I should, uh, one second, okay, so I'll just make that red too, there you go, so that's 2i, and then we have 3j, so what does that mean, that means, and that's in green, I should remember, so, you draw a vector going this way, but then you need three of them, and you gotta put them at the tip here, like this, one, two, and then three, and each one is individually is j, so there's a j, this is a j, and this is another j. So there are three of them that accounts for 3j. But then we have 4k. So first you imagine a copy. Okay, so put a copy of k, the unit vector. That's the one along the z-axis. And then you just take this of this same vector. Okay, like this one more time. So you just take this and then just come back here. So 1, say 2, 3, and then 4. Okay, so each one is individually k. So this is a k. Uh, this is a K here, yep, this is a K, and the last one here is also a K. There are four Ks, and now the actual vector is the one that goes from here to the tip of this one, and that's our V vector, which is equal to 2I plus 3J plus 4K, as shown. So I hope this is helpful. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll zoom in so you can see things a little better. I'll see you in another video.